Hi everyone, I have some exciting news today. I finally set up a Reflect with Raksha website. You would have seen in my goals video and some of my monthly planning videos over the last few months that I've been wanting to set up a website. So today I wanted to show you around the site a little bit, talk about the upcoming plans and share my thoughts on tackling big projects like this one. It's extremely daunting starting a project like this and you can end up putting it off for years. I was very tempted to leave it till later too because I wanted to have all of my content ready and all of the designs planned out. I'd look at other people's websites and see things that I like and I'd end up putting myself off because I didn't have the content or the design expertise to create something like that for myself. Last week I decided I'm not going to wait for the right time anymore. I realised I'm just starting out so I shouldn't compare my beginning to other people's middle. I have to get started to be able to make any progress. So when my husband randomly offered to take a week off of work for building a website for me, I was over the moon. The only problem was he needed to know what to build. I already knew what I wanted the website for, so that was a big help. I just needed to know what to lay out. I started with the basics. What pages do I want on the website? Then I just jotted down a few basic things that I wanted us to remember. Simple clean aesthetic, modern vibes, not too busy or cluttered, easy to find things, a newsletter, a blog, a gallery for bullet journal inspiration, an opportunity to share more of me. And then with nothing more than that, we got started. After a week of highs and lows, here we are. You can now find me on reflectwithraksha.com. I still have so much more to do on the website to make it feel right to me, but I wanted to share what we have now because I think it's important to just get started and not wait around to do things because you're not ready or because it's not final. I'm so happy I have a fully functioning, beautiful website now to do all of the things that I want to do. So this is the home page. I still need to design a Reflect with Raksha logo that I can use here. We took a photo to kind of represent what Reflect with Raksha is all about. And my favorite things are in the photo, like books and candles, my simple things list in my journal and my gratitude spread. Then I have a welcome message to explain what I'm all about and all of the content that I share in various places on the internet. It's nice to have my own little space on the internet because social media platforms can come and go, which is all out of our control. So I'm glad I'll always have my home base here on the site. I have links to my Instagram, YouTube and Etsy shop. A future release of the website will probably have a shop page and hopefully more products. I wanted to design something to put in this section on this white space. Maybe some flower doodles or something, but I don't quite know if it will just clash with the clean minimal vibe. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Would you vote to keep it simple like this or add something creative and hand drawn? And if there are any designers out there, please tell me what I can add that would work with this. Then we've included a featured post. This is where you can see the latest blog post. I like this because it gives you more of an idea of what the website and the brand is about. And here you can sign up to my newsletter. It's called Sunday Musings. So if you want even more Reflect with Raksha vibes in your life, feel free to sign up here to receive an email newsletter every Sunday with my thoughts and insights and things that I've been enjoying that week. I'll also keep you informed of new products as and when they're released. And finally, we have my latest video at the bottom, which feeds in through YouTube. The about section is some more information about me, how Reflect with Raksha started and what it's all about. I put together some FAQs with some general information for brands that want to work with me or if anyone wants to send me anything, I have a PO box address here. I love post, please send me something so it's not just bills and junk mail that I get. 
I have a section with questions for bullet journaling and also some common questions that I get about video editing. I have some ideas for the design of this page, but there are some technical difficulties with doing that at the moment, so that will be part of a future release as well. Then we have my blog. Again, I'd ideally want about five blog posts on here before launching a website, but this is what I have. My first blog post if you'd like to have a read, and I'll be adding more every week. And finally, I have the inspiration tab with a carefully curated selection of photos of my bullet journal. We also spent quite a bit of time thinking about how we want it to look on a big screen versus a small screen, like a phone. And what should happen to the images and the menu items. And we made certain decisions to prioritise making it really fast to use so you can click through the screens and you don't have to wait around for things to load. And that's what I have so far. I still have a list of things to add, including a contact page. But for now, I have a fully functioning site that I plan to make full use of. So check out my blog posts and sign up to my newsletter if you'd like to. I promise to only share joyful things and things that I'm learning on this journey that I think will be interesting or helpful to you. Please, please, please let me know what you think of the website in the comments below. Even if you hate it, I promise I won't get upset. Okay, I can't promise that, but please let me know what you think either way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.